Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I wanted to go ahead and talk about The Real Housewives of Miami. All right, so basically, Nicole Daddy. <laughs> Girl, Nicole Daddy is a mess. Like, a mess. Um, he makes a comment about him not really done having children at his old age. Um, Nicole, they just don't... They're probably never going to have a relationship. Or, you know, I guess the father and daughter relationship. I think, I don't even see him really having a relationship with her son. He kind of gives me like that grandfather who may pop around on birthdays with a toy truck. May pop up on Christmas. Other than that, like I really don't see him playing a big part, especially in Nicole's life and even his grandsons. Like, I just don't. Like, he's, he's just a mess. Like, a hot mess to me. Um, she pretty much gets upset. She leaves. <laughs> Girl, I don't know what type of... I think that was a Rolls Royce SUV. Was it a Rolls Royce? Or I think it was a Rolls Royce. I can't... I, I don't know. It was... I just know it was expensive. <laughs> oh, but anyway, child. Um... <laughs> Girl, I don't know. When, when he took a sip of that drink... I saw that shaking his head. I don't know why I thought that was funny. Um, Lenny. For some reason, I don't trust Lenny. I mean, it's not for me to trust because he ain't my man. But L Lisa's husband, Lenny, I really don't trust him. Um, I think for some reason he's up to no good. Um, I think it's crazy how even in the last episode... When, even though I didn't review the last episode, when Lisa said that, you know, she's made this comment a couple of times that Lenny pretty much thinks that she doesn't do anything. Like, I don't have no kids, but I've been around, enough, I've been around my nieces enough to know that baby. <laughs> I'd rather be at work before I sit at home with some kids. Okay. Um, you saw those kids were wearing Lisa out when they went to, um, Sugar Shack? Was that, I mean, Sugar Factory, whatever. I think it was Sugar Factory they went to. You saw those kids were running, uh, was wearing her out. And it's probably 10 times worse than that, child. Anyways, um, Larsa's son. Larsa calls her son on FaceTime. I'm trying to give Larsa son and Scotty. I think Scotty Pippen was right there. I'm just going to say that they did not want to be on camera. That's why he paused it. He took, that's why he went, he basically paused it where you couldn't see their face. I still thought that the son was a tad bit disrespectful. When he, when he was like, when he was talking to his mama, like, yeah, like we doing something, bro. <laughs> Baby, who are you talking to? And why is your daddy sitting there beside you letting you talk to your mama like that? I'm sorry. I thought it was a tad bit disrespectful. Like, I get... I, it's one thing for you to avoid... Like, I don't know. I just felt like it was a better way to handle it. And I also feel like, at this point, I just don't see Larsa just up and call... Like, I could see Larsa probably telling them, Hey, the camera's going to be here today. I'm going to call y'all. But even if she didn't give a heads up, I still felt like the son was a tad bit disrespectful. Anyways, um, they're going to Hamptons. I forgot to mention that because, again, I didn't review the last episode. They're going to the Hamptons. Um, everybody is pretty much uh, packing. Oh, I forgot. I skipped that part. Everybody was packing to go to the Hamptons. Um, they make it there. I was so confused about, <laughs> are they going to the Hamptons? Like, I guess they were staying in a house that I don't know, girl, because the ha how far was a house away from that from the Hamptons? Because I mean, it could have just been around the corner. But anyways, they were staying somewhere in New York. But I guess they were going to the Hamptons for an event. I guess the Larson's event. But I don't know, girl. I don't know. Let's just get to the part where uh, oh Julia. So they fly to New York. Then they have to get in a car and ride like almost three hours. Good, that's a lie. 
Girl, that's a lot of traveling, girl. To fly and then have to wait, then have to get your bags, wait for the car, get in the car, drive almost three hours. I would have been over it. Um, Julia, I don't know what type of game Julia is playing. Either. I don't know if Julia is out in the business of turning y'all girls out. Um, but she's made a comment about Martina talking to some girls and it kind of, I guess, turns her on when I guess the girls are trying to talk to Martina. Because Martina, Martina gives you like stud, pretty much. Um, but like soft stud. Because Martina still wear her makeup. I think she still carry a bag. Because when they got on that, uh, that plane, that private jet or whatever, wherever, when they flew to Key West or wherever, I think I saw, um, uh, um, I think Martina was holding like a little Chanel bag or something. So, Martina like <laughs> Martina still a woman <laughs> but Martina like she'll whoop your ass <laughs> Martina like she'll wear you out with that tennis racket that's why I keep telling Julia and Andrea uh, uh, Adriana whatever her name is I don't too much care for her no more girl whatever her name is girl Julia gonna wear you out I mean Martina gonna wear y'all out keep on playing with Martina <laughs> and I'm gonna be right there throwing balls out so she can just be swinging <laughs> get it Martina <laughs> Girl, yeah, we're gonna be double tag teaming y'all. Anyways, um, okay, the whole room situation. <laughs> Let's just talk about that. The first thing is this: Larsa should have told the girls the sleeping arrangement before they even left Miami. I think Larson didn't tell those girls the sleeping arrangements until they got in the car, the, with the car she was in, and then the rest of the girls found out once they got to the house. We know these girls are at work, so y'all gonna make it do what they do. But I still think that she should have let them know what was going on. Um, Larson got pissed, okay? Because Adriana, it was a little extra. Like, I don't know. But it's like, okay, girl, we shouldn't have TV show. So I'm trying to give Adriana a, pa uh, Adriana a pass and not just be on her neck like that. Adriana runs and gets into the tub. Um, and Larsa's tub that was in her room. She splashed her water on the girls or whatever. Um, Lisa doesn't want to share a room. Now, I'm funny acting like Lisa too. I'm a, I don't like sharing beds. I don't care if we BFFs. I want my own room. I want my own bed. I really want my own restroom too, right? Would I sleep in a bed with somebody? Girl, yeah. But it's really going to have to be, girl, I passed out. And girl, I just, oh, girl, should we, should we slept in the bed together? I just don't like sharing beds with people. Again, it could be BFF, girl, sister, brother, mama, grandmama. I just don't like sharing beds. I want my own bed. I don't know why I'm like that. I'm just like that. So I can't even really get mad at Lisa for basically wanting her own space. But it did sound like to, it sound like to me Lisa just didn't want to share a room with Gertie. Because were you going to share a room with Larsa? Because did you hear when Alexia said, well, you, are you going to share a room with Larsa? So it sounded like to me she didn't want to share a room with Gertie. Did y'all get that or am I just trying to be messy and start at something? Okay. Um, they showed a clip of Lisa basically having her own room, I think like the week prior. So you can't really sit here and say that you don't understand why Larsa feels like she deserves her own room because you just had your own room like a week ago. Um, <laughs> Alexia, to me, and I only watched the episode once. I didn't get where Alexia was having an attitude with Lisa. I didn't catch that. It sounded like to me, Alexia kind of jumped in, in on the conversation. Now, she could have told Alexia, girl, you mind your business, you stay out of it. But Alexia was telling the truth. <laughs> girl, it's not an option for you to have. You keep talking about your own room. And it's not an option. That's the thing. It's one thing for you to find out and be like, look, I want my own room. And then the girls, well, it's nothing you can do. It's like, at this point, Lisa, it's nothing you can do. Like, it doesn't matter. Even if you went to Larsa's room, you still gonna be sharing a room. 
That's the point. You can, it, it did sound like to me like Lisa wasn't catching on to the conversation. I think Lisa just got mad at Alexis because Alexis was like, basically, girl, it's nothing you can do. Like, there, there's, these are the options. We share rooms. <laughs> um, uh, Nicole feels like basically it's like some mean girl stuff going on. She feels like it's two separate groups. She feels like the girls, I guess, who kind of knew each other before. Is Nicole new to the show? You know, I never watched Miami season one, season two, or season three. So I, I think the only person that's new is probably what? Gertie and Nicole? I think everybody else has been on the show. Um, even Adriana made a comment about, I guess, Larsa thinking she's a queen bee, kind of like you disappeared from the girl, from the group for 10 years. They've been off the show for, the, so the last season of Miami was 10 years ago. So basically Larsa moved, Larsa back, moved back to Miami just to be on the show. Is that, that is that what I, that's what I'm getting from it, right? Um... They showed clips of Marisol's mother who seemed like she was pretty much everything to me. Girl, when she said, I'm going to steal the show from all the young girls. I said, I know that's right, mama. Um, the hairstylist. <laughs> they have a hairstylist come in. Alexi. <laughs> Alexi is on the phone with Todd. I don't know why I hollered when the girl, when the hairstylist, girl, I don't know why I was screaming. When the hairstylist walked into the house and Alexi was on the phone and she was looking like, who is this man walking in here? And but she said, but she said, trying to talk on the phone. Ah. Lisa, <laughs> he ain't do nothing to your hair that I couldn't have did. I can't even fix him. But girl, I could have threw some curls in your head. I'm sure you could have had one of them girls in that house throw a couple of curls in your head. That man ain't did nothing to your head. Girl, but sweep, but sweep a little, a little curling arm through it. That's it. So I'm like, girl, you had that man come all the way over there to do that. All right, girl, you could have threw your hair in the ponytail and went to dinner. Okay. Um, Marisol, girl. When I tell y'all, baby, Marisol got the party started. <laughs> Marisol is mad. See, <laughs> my type of girl. So Marathon say, let's play a game. Basically, who 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 do you trust the least at the table? I said, girl, here we go. <laughs> I'm not doing this. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. We've been flying and driving all day. I just want to eat, have me some cocktails, and go to bed. So nobody wanted to play, basically. So Kiki was trying to say, basically, let's just do the who uh, who the person you trust the most. Did I say that the person who you trust the least? That was the game. They wanted to change it to the person who you trust the most. And so Larsa was like, well, baby, let's get somebody said, let's get it. Oh, girl, you know, you know what I hollered when I thought was funny? Bitch, hold up. Well, Lisa. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this part. When Lisa, when Lisa was acting a fool about that room, did you hear somebody say there's a garage? <laughs> I don't know. When I tell you, <laughs> at that point, I had to rewind like five times. I mean, did somebody just tell that girl there's a garage? <laughs> girl, I told Lisa, girl, we all regret that. Hey, girl, it's the truth. Girl, at this point, girl, the truth of the matter is, girl, we all share rooms. Either we share rooms or your ass is sleeping on the floor. <laughs> it's going to be one of the two. Or oh, you can sleep your ass in that garage. <laughs> I don't know who said that, but whoever said it, I said I was hollering. Anyway, child. Um, what was that, at, girl? Hold up. Marisol. So they basically said Mar Marisol. Marisol, I can't, I don't know, I can't pronounce her name. Basically, since you want to play the game, you get it popping, right? So Marisol basically says that she doesn't trust Nicole. I mean, yeah, I think she said she uh, she doesn't trust Nicole. Um, <laughs> she says that Nicole is sneaky, and she talks about Larsa and Lisa. Now, this is the thing, right? <laughs> this is the thing. 
I remember they didn't even have to do the flashback. They did the flashback, but they didn't even have to do the flashback. I do remember Nicole saying at Larsa's party at her house that I thought that when, when I first found out you had an OnlyFans, I thought that it was slutty. And then she went to say, but I found out that, you know, that a lot, which girl, OnlyFans is OnlyFans. But it, the truth is there are some people on OnlyFans that are not there, you know, participating in sex. There are some girls on there who are cooking and just doing all types of other stuff, right? It's just not necessarily sex. So Nicole did say once I basically did my research, I found out, oh, okay, it's other stuff going on here too. <laughs> I think that Nicole has talked about Lisa, but I also believe Nicole went, it, it wasn't to the extent the way that Marisol say she heard. I, I feel like I believe Nicole. Y'all think Nicole was lying? I think Nicole talked, now I will say this, I don't know, okay, I just told a lie. I don't think it was just her saying, talking about Lisa's floor. And I think she said something that they ate or her clothes or something. No, Nicole talked to Nicole talked about Lisa. <laughs> I just made my mind up. Nicole was wearing Lisa hat. Nicole was talking about Lisa. <laughs> Nicole was talking about Lisa. I believe it. Nicole was talking about Lisa. But also in Nicole's defense, though, just like she said, ain't now one of y'all helpful gonna sit at this table and act like y'all don't judge people. And this is just the truth, right? We just, well, they try to act like it's an opinion. Girl, I, <laughs> judge an opinion, girl. As much as the girls wanna act like it's a difference, it's really, well, I got into a big argument one time with a friend. Like, ooh, what? 10, 15 years ago about judge about judging and having an opinion. I've always thought that an opinion um, and also judging is the same thing. I just think that a lot of us are taught that you're not supposed to judge. So we say we just have an opinion. Girl, you're judging. Girl, period. Period. You're judging. <laughs> you're judging. So it was Nicole trying to make it this big deal about what's the, what's the difference between an opinion and a judgment. And um, she says that basically uh, every, if there's no one at this table who can lie and say that they haven't um, basically talked about somebody or judged somebody, you know, off basically their first interaction with that person or how they look on Instagram, which is the truth. So, and, it, and it's so weird because you would think someone like Larsa who is talked about all the time would understand that, right? Like, girl, you know that's what's happening, girl. So it, it's it's a good chance that, yes, before y'all became cool, that you probably were being talked about amongst a lot of the girls in the group. You think Adriana wasn't talking about you, Larsa? When you came back, because Adriana was already wearing you out at the beginning of the season. So I'm sure she was wearing you out within this 10-year this ten year break. And she already knew you. That's the real cat. <laughs> anyway, Shell. Um, Larsa tried to act like... <laughs> girl. <laughs> yeah, this was a mess. Larsa tried to throw in, in, in Nicole's face. I guess she was talking to a teacher. And then she broke up with the teacher and got with her now, you know, partner. And was like she got with him because he was rich. This is the thing. Even if that's what Nicole did, it's fine by me. Ain't nobody trying to make her mad and nobody broke. But Nicole got her own money. Anthony probably got more, but Nicole got her own money. You know what I'm saying? And then for y'all to sit at that table, girl, from Larsa to Lisa to who else? Um... Larsa, Lisa, probably Marisol, probably Alexia, Alexia, like, ain't no, ain't, ain't too, it ain't too many women sitting at that table that can say, girl, they make their own money. You probably make your own money now, but girl, let's just be honest, girl, a lot of y'all married, married men that had money. So for Larsa to even bring that up, like, 
Because <laughs> Larson, you the last person that should be talking about somebody getting with somebody with, uh, with, for money. And then, and even if that's the truth, who you want? Who do you want Nicole to talk to? Somebody who broke. So that whole thing right there, I was like, Larson, girl, shut up. Um, Larson, I mean, Nicole basically says that Marisol, that Alexa used to talk about Marisol. I believe Nicole. Nicole put it on her son. I don't care. I believe Nicole. I believe that Alexia was talking about Marisol. Girl, look, this is the thing. You're <laughs> always help us is messy. There's a good chance that. Because these girls are probably, I don't know, girl. I just feel like, I just feel like Nicole was in line. I think Nicole was telling the truth. She put it on herself. She put it on her son. I think that Alexia definitely was talking about Marisol at one point. Um, Julia basically said, I'm ghetto fish. I got three babies. I done had three babies and three baby daddies. So I ain't got no room to talk <laughs> That was pretty much it, child. That was, well, I said, but that was on Nicole's ass. Girl, they was on Nicole's ass. I ain't gonna lie, girl. Nicole didn't pull that white woman son and start crying. Nicole sat there and stood in her shit. <laughs> I said, don't you start. Baby, don't, don't, let, don't cry, Nicole. <laughs> so, baby, Nicole said, baby, Nicole said, I'm gonna get y'all hoes up off of me. <laughs> Nicole said, Alexia, you you was talking about your girlfriend, okay? Nicole said, I'm going to get y'all up off of me one way or another. And ain't nobody at this table going to sit here and act, act like y'all ain't never talked about nobody or judge nobody. And everybody just sitting there. Anyways, y'all, the, the episode was good. The episode was good. Gertie wasn't there. I think she's going to come the next day or something like that. All right, y'all talk to y'all later. Bye.